All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to begin this lesson by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Makakwadash. I also want to give double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and peace and blessings to the hopeful elect, the 144,000 men that I labor in this work for the sake of Yahweh Bashim al Shai. And I also want to say Shalom to the rest of the elect, which consists of the men, women, and children that are part of the great multitude that are listening to these videos and that serve the Lord to the best of their ability. I want to say Shalom. All right. So I'm the brother Gabar from the GMS Salt. GMS West Palm Camp, and I'm coming back with another daily exhortation through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem al Shai, and I pray that the elect of the nation of Israel is edified. All right, so I'm gonna start at Proverbs chapter 8, verse 17. It reads, I love them that love me, and those that seek me early shall find me. Okay, and as you see on the screen, it says, it says limited time offer, all right? And this truth is only available for a limited time, for a limited time only, all right? This word, you know, this word can be found for a limited time, all right? Um, the Lord can only be found for a limited time, all right? And 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 by the way that things going, all right, we're seeing more of the RFID chip being pushed out, okay? More prophecies are coming to pass. You know, we're hearing more wars and rumors of wars, Okay, um, brother's page is getting striked. Okay, so hey, these are the time. Okay, you, you see wars and rumors of wars. You hear about famines. All right, earthquakes in diverse places. All right, pestilence. All right, hey, so these are the times that we that 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 they, that our forefathers you know has been preaching about. Okay, and we, and we living in these times. All right, we living in the last days. All right. You know, we this is this is the year of of hastening in in in, in the day of Yahweh Bashem Al Shai. All right. Hey, so so uh, so right now is the time to seek the Lord. All right. Because he can only be found for a limited time. All right. Hey, because if you wait too late, hey, the Lord going the, the Lord, the Lord going to turn his face away from you. All right. And just to prove that this is Proverbs chapter one and verse. And I start at 24 because I have called and he refused. All right. The Lord, he speak through his servants, the prophets. All right. The Lord is calling you. OK, I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded, but ye have said it, said at not all my counsel and with none of my reproof. All right. So people, they don't want to uh, two thirds of our people. They don't want to uh, listen to the words of your Lord. All right. They, they, they don't want to be corrected. You know, they, they don't want to change their ways. All right. And it says, verse 26, I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear has come. All right. So the Lord, all right, when these evil days, you know, um, come, all right, when it's martial law out in these streets, all right, it's Jacob's trouble. All right. You know, um, you, you don't have no food. All right. You don't have no water. All right. Uh, when all hell breaking loose, you ain't gonna have no, uh, you ain't gonna have no hedge of protection around you, all right? And the scriptures say, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of our time, all right? The wisdom and knowledge understanding of these scriptures, all right? Because the wisdom of this world is foolishness, all right? And I'm gonna read that again, Proverbs 1 and 26. I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear has come, all right? And, 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 and you want the Lord to be dealing with you in this time, all right? And that's why, you know, it's in your best interest to, 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 to seek your how about Shema with Shai now, all right? Because he gonna hide his face from, from, from the two thirds of our people, okay? Because you had time to repent, all right? You had time to, to, to seek your how about Shema with Shai, all right? You had time to build yourself up. All right, because you got to you got to be built up in, in, in the spirit. All right, because the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. All right. You know, the mighty man not going to be delivered, you know, by his might. OK, you're going to be delivered through, through the through, through the uh, through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shemal Shai. All right. Lord willing, we be those men. All right. But let me keep reading Proverbs 1 and 27. When your fear cometh as desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind. All right. That destruction going to hit you as as as. as you know, it's, it's going it's gonna to come suddenly, okay? It says, when distress and anguish cometh upon you, then shall they call upon me, right, man? This 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 when our people going to call upon the Lord, all right? When all hell breaking loose, all right? You know, when that when that great day of evil come, okay? And, and, and there's race wars out in these streets, all right? There's a famine of, of, of this word, all right? There's a famine of food, 
All right, it's going to be all hell breaking loose. That's when our people are going to want to call upon the Lord. But he says, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early. All right, so the Lord ain't going to hear your prayers in that time. All right, he's going to mock, he's going to be mocking and laughing. All right, you know, and it says, they shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. All right, you know, so you got to see your how about your mouth shot early, man. All right, because if you don't, you ain't going to be able to find them in the time of Jacob's trouble, man. All right. Uh, All right, this is Isaiah 33 and verse 6. It reads, And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. Okay, so that the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of these scriptures. All right, that's why you got to seek the Lord now. All right, that's why you got to build yourself up. All right, you got to be built up in the spirit. Okay, because this is this is not an overnight process. All right. You know, it takes time, you know, to um to to, to put away your old habits, all right, to put away the um uh, your 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 sins. OK, you know, it, it takes time, you know, to, to, to get yourself right. OK, you can't do this in, um, overnight. All right. This is a process. OK, you know, I, I'm still building. We're, we're all still building ourselves up. OK, you know, each day we're, 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 we're seeking the Lord. All right. We're reading, you know, we're watching lessons. We're doing videos. OK, you got to be built up in the spirit. OK, and this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, that's what's going to keep you stable in, in, in these times to come. All right. People think that, 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 that you foolish now. All right. Let them think that. All right. Because when all hell break loose, we got this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. All right. These people got the wisdom of this world. All right. They think that their guns are going to save them. They think that their money is going to save them. You know, they, 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 they think that their house is going to save them, you know. Hey, but the but the scriptures say I mean Proverbs eleven and four riches profit not in the day of wrath. All right, so your riches ain't gonna profit you. All right, your wit your worldly wisdom. All right, you might know how to shoot a gun. All right, you might know how to fight. Okay, you might know how to uh, survive in, in the wilderness. Okay, but if you don't have the, the the spirit of the Lord guiding you, you don't have to, if you don't have that um that refuge. Okay, you you're gonna be through in that day. Okay. So this is why you got to get this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding now, man. All right, this is this is going to be this is the most precious thing on the face of the earth. All right, but right now people don't see that. All right, people see as money as being precious. They see gold and silver and and diamonds. You know, they think these cars. You know that that's what these people put their strength in in this in, in this time. Okay, but hey, the the men that that's been seeking the Lord. All right. They're gonna be mo they're gonna be made precious in that time. All right. You know, um, let me get that. All right, this is Isaiah 13 and 12. I will make a man more precious than fine gold. Okay, and ain't talking about any man. All right, it's talking, it's talking about the elect. All right, the elect of the nation of Israel, the one third, all right, the, the, the men, his elect, man, they're going to be more precious than fine gold. Why? Because those are the men that's been seeking the Lord. They got the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, okay? They're going to be stable in these times. They're going to have the the uh, the, the Lord uh, protecting them and guiding them, okay? And, and these women, all right, they're going to flock to that, okay? It says, even, even a, uh, I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man than the golden wedge of Ophir, okay? So we're going to be more precious than gold, man. We're going to be more precious than 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 than, than jewelry. We're going to be more precious than 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 anything on, on on the face of this earth. All right? So hey man, this is this is why you got to get this wisdom now. Okay? You know? You you got to be um Stacking up your treasures in, in, in heaven, man. All right. We stacking up our spiritual treasures right now. All right. And in the time of Jacob's trouble, all right, we're going to cash out. All right. All right. Lord willing. All right. It's Amos 8 and 11. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, Yahweh, that I will send a famine in the land. Not a famine of bread. Okay. But that famine of, of, of bread is coming too. All right. Because. This is known as modern day Egypt. And the Lord says he going to hit this place with with, with, with with similar plagues as Egypt. OK, and one of the plagues that happened in Egypt was that was that famine or famine of bread. OK, and the Lord is going to bring that back. 
Okay, you're gonna bring back the famine of bread. Okay, you're not gonna be able to go to these grocery stores, you know, and and, and, and go shopping. It's gonna be the time of Jacob of Jacob's trouble, a time like never before, man. All right, behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst of water, but hearing the words of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. Okay, so it's gonna come a famine. It's gonna come a time where you're not gonna be able to go on the internet. And look up this word. You're not going to be able to go out on a highways and byways and, and hear this word. Okay. Because Proverbs 1 and 20 says wisdom cries um, on the streets in the chief place uh, uh, in the chief concourse. Okay. So the wisdom, out, the true wisdom is is, is is from the men that's out on the corners. Okay. That's on out on the highways and byways week in and week out. All right. In the chief place of concourse, that's where the true wisdom is. It can be found, okay. But it's gonna come a time where hey, it's gonna be so crazy out here. We're not gonna be preaching the word on the corner, all right. They're gonna shut this internet down, okay. Uh, it's gonna be total chaos in these streets. So, 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 so you gotta get this word now, man. All right, you gotta, you gotta get it right now because it's, it's, it's a limited time offer, okay. This is the best deal. This is the best. Uh, this is the best deal that you can get, man. All right. Y'all think going to McDonald's and getting a four for four. All right. Y'all think that that y'all getting a deal, man. All right. The Lord, he got this. He got the true wisdom, knowledge, understanding, you know, out on the highways and byways, man. Okay. Uh, Let me keep reading that, though. This is Amos 8 and 12. And they shall wander from sea to sea. And from the north, even to the east. All right. And let's talk about these people, man. These people are going to be wandering sea to sea. All right. From north to east. These people are going to be going crazy, man. All right. Looking for the, they're going to be looking for those men. Where was those men that was out on the corners telling us that martial law was going to come? All right. You know, where are those men? These people are going to be bugging out, man. Okay, and it says, they shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord and shall not find it. These people are not going to be able to find the word. Okay, this is that limited time offer, man. Okay, so you got to get this word now, man. All right, um, read. Okay, because, hey, this is good. It, it, Jacob Trouble, you're not promised to have your sword. Okay, w what happens if you get cast into prison? You don't got your Bible. All right, you don't got a cell phone. Okay, so you got to get this word now, man. All right, and let me get Ezekiel. This is Ezekiel chapter 3 and verse 26. And I will make thy tongue cleave to the roof of thy mouth, that thou shalt be dumb and not and slacking, and shall not be to them a reprover, for they are rebellious house. All right, so the Lord is going to close our mouth, man. All right, he said he's going to cleave. Uh, make our tongue cleave to the roof of thy mouth. We're going we, we, we gonna, to we, we gonna be shut up in that day, man. All right? They're they going to be like, oh, I, I think I, that was a dude that, that was that was telling me I was an Israelite. That was a dude that was telling me that that um, martial law is going to be out on these streets. The, the, and these people are going to be one to ask, um, but they're going to want answers. All right? But the Lord says he's going to make us dumb. All right? He said, and shall not be to them a reprover, right, man? We ain't going to be correcting y'all on that day, all right? We ain't going to be um, telling you, you know, the the, the names of your Yahweh Bashim Shah no more, all right? That's over and done away with, man, all right? Because we've been making these videos day every day, all right? Day in and day out. We've been going out to the highways and byways, all right? Uh, lifting up our voice like a trumpet, showing our people their transgressions, Okay? So, and it says, well, they are a rebellious house. Right, man. Our people didn't listen. All right. So that's why the Lord is going to shut us up in that day. All right. All right. It's Matthew 24 and verse 14. It reads, and this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. And then the end shall come. Okay. This gospel, man. All right. This gospel, it says, this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. All right, man. When we out on the highways and byways, okay, we tell these other nations their judgment. All right. We telling Esau that they're going into slavery. We're telling the, the, the so-called Chinese that they're going into slavery in these other nations for a thousand years. All right. We're telling these people their, their judgment, man. And it says, and then the end shall come. Okay. And we're in the end days. Okay. You know, Matthew, let me jump up, jump back up. It says Matthew 24 and verse 
6, And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom. And, and there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. Okay? So this is just the beginning, man. All right, these are the signs of, 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 of the last days, man. All right, you got men seeing visions. All right, you know, the spirit of the Lord, you know, is is, is being poured out on the earth. All right, you got heathens um, seeing visions. You got um, young men prophesying, old men dreaming visions. Okay, up wars of the people. All right, hey, amen. This is these, these are those times, man. All right, and let me get one more. All right, because this gospel is going to be preached throughout the four corners of the earth. Okay, then the end shall come. This is Revelation 7 and 1. And after these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, that the wind should not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor on any tree. All right, now wind is not talking about some regular wind. That wind is that destruction. All right, and you got four angels on the four corners of the earth, on the four uh, winds of the earth. All right, holding back that destruction. Verse two, and I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living power. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea. Okay, saying, hurt not the earth, neither the sea nor the trees till we have sealed the servants, sealed the servants of our power in their forehead. And I heard the number of them which were sealed. And there were sealed 144,000 of all the tribes of the children of Israel. Okay. When all the elect is woken up. All right. The end is going to come. All right. We, we live in, in these last days, man. All right. We're in the end days, man. This word has, is going out throughout the four corners of earth. All right. You got brothers in Africa. You got brothers in Italy. You got brothers in Philippines. All right. You got people waking up all over the earth in China. All right. So these are the signs of the time, man. All right. And the Lord, he's on his way back, man. All right. So you got to seek Yahweh Bashan Abba Shai. All right. Call upon him. Okay. Seek the Lord before the evil days come. All right. So that was just a short lesson through the spirit. Lord willing, the elect of the nation of Israel was edified. And I'm going to close out by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. I also want to give double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and peace and blessings to the hopeful elect, the 144,000 men that's laboring his work for the sake of Yahweh Bahashem Al Shai. And also I want to say Shalom to the rest of the elect, which consists of the men, women, and children that are part of the great multitude that are listening to these videos and that are serving the Lord to the best of their ability. I want to say Shalom.